What's up, fools? This is Tom Flurry. I'm here in Savannah, Georgia, before the Senate runoff race to cover the streamer Destiny and his community of 300 people as they go door to door in Canvas for Raphael Warnock for my documentary on terminally online media. If you haven't subbed yet, there's a link to the trailer in the description. Today, I'm doing street interviews, talking to people about the runoff race, all the madness with Kanye West, and the changes being made to Twitter after the Elon Musk takeover. Okay, so yeah, so my name's Tom, I run Tom Foolery Show. What's your name? Jackie. So, and Nick. Jackie and Nick. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys from Savannah? Uh, we live here now, from Atlanta originally, but oh, okay. Here now. I'm from Atlanta. I, I drove out here. There's a big canvassing event here this weekend that we're covering. Uh, oh. Huge, like a uh, live streamer from YouTube, bringing 300 people here. <laughs> Do you guys, uh, you guys vote the first time? Yes. yes. Yeah. Who'd you vote for? Well, Warnock. Warnock. Yeah. You voting again? In the runoff? Yeah. But I have to. Actually, this is the third time somebody has asked me today right. if I'm voting. Yes. Oh, what do you guys like about Warnock? Well. He's better than the competition. <laughs> so he seems to be more of a person, more of a human. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, kind of like what he said, he's not really a pastor now in the Senate. Or he is a pastor in the Senate. He's not just a, a political figure. That you know? used to be a pastor. Right. So he, he takes a lot of the same values that, yeah, you because know, I was born and raised here in Savannah. So I kind of remember the groundwork he was doing before the fact as versus where he is now. And he hasn't changed the story. Oh, yeah, because he's from Savannah, right? Right. right. Yeah. Right. What do you guys think about the Kanye comments? Everybody has an opinion. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, me personally, I understand what he's saying. I just think he's going about it completely wrong and completely like insensitive to what people will pick up. Like, if you want people to understand what you're saying, maybe not like waterboard us with that. And but I do think that there's a lot of points to what he is saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing he's doing is accident. So yeah. It's, yeah, sure. You don't get to where he is by just kind of blindly making decisions and doing things so it's yeah. all strategic it's all he's a very smart person just a little misguided and so everything he's saying is not wrong but i do think that how you say something makes a huge difference do you guys know what blitzer is that they're what's that i don't i honestly i i think i i don't know i keep seeing the meme blitzer mm -hmm. i think my assumption is it's like a black hitler meme I, for, oh, wow. for kanye i don't know oh it's so i don't know <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people are going to be giving him some titles. Yeah. I'm looking that up now, see what's going on with that. I mean, I can tell you, somebody who runs a YouTube channel, there's like the anti-Semitism in the right. comments is blowing up right now. Right. Do you think like, he, he talks a lot about racism. He had those comments about George Bush a while back mm -hmm. and stuff like that. George Bush doesn't care about black people. What, what do you think the disconnect is for him between uh, like what he experiences as a black person and what Jewish people would experience with his comments? Well, the disconnect is, you know, he probably has some valid experience growing up because he came from, you know, one lifestyle and then went into another. So I think his experiences are very valid to him, as everybody's are. Um, but then once you start talking about, you know, the powers that be, then, you know, they don't like that. <laughs> and that's, you know, you're talking about two marginalized communities. And so it's to me, it almost sounds like, like whose strife is, is, is a huge deal, but it's like, it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be one against the other. It could be each having their own, you know, distractions, disruptions to come in and, co and cause conflict. Mm -hmm. But he's completely dismissive of, of that, that because he thinks that his strife is more important than, you know, Ju the Judaism, the whole religion itself and the whole people and the race itself, that somehow he can say whatever he wants. and. Mm -hmm not care about the individual that's hearing that you think his own oppression blinds him from other people's oppression yeah that happens a lot with i mean especially in black culture like that trauma you know right. we don't we don't always have the best way to heal from that mm -hmm. and so we process it in ways that might be a little counter and productive of what we actually want to say and feel and how we want to project that but being quiet has never been yeah. a thing it's like it's something that no uh black person, person power, right should ever want to be quiet about because right. you bring awareness to it you know it happened and it's a part of this history so it can't be something that's just you know forgotten are so. you guys on twitter no 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 the elon just took over twitter mm -hmm. i think he banned kanye last night actually oh, from wow. what yeah. it <laughs> from sense. what it looks like um but lots of people are upset about elon's changes oh, that yeah. he's making to twitter do you guys have any thoughts on that I just read an article recently about like um, 
the Twitter employees, like the people of color and how they're kind of against it. So although I'm not familiar with what's going on with that, I just know what I read. It's just something to be mindful for. Like if we just start noticing changes in the, just in the climate of existing, it probably has something to do with a big major person who now owns a new company that is kind of stirring that pot. Just right. something to be mindful about, but mm -hmm. who knows how it really affects us. Right. Yeah. Other cool. than being silenced on a social platform that's <laughs> owned by the Amazon. Company. Right, right. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just I think, talked I think about it, that the other day. We, like, we have no idea what the people that, like, we're, we're peasants The powers that be to, when they decide right. to let us, you know, know and, right. you know, understand. You know, it's all about political gain, but I think anything that someone at the level of Elon Musk decides to do, if it's impacted enough by the backlash, then he'll change up his story or something. Yeah. You know, because it's always about money. It's always about gaining of power and influence. So if he does something that's unpopular and he loses influence, well, that's not a good business decision for him. Because it's always business. It actually has less to do with uh, race and, you know, ethnicities and different backgrounds. It's all about power and money. So is that is that important to you guys when you vote is somebody who is going to attack you know people in positions of power that's definitely my angle like yeah. i can sit there and literally say i will not support somebody who doesn't add to us as a people and it's all about being divisive so i'd rather you have a point that's not divisive it's just hey this is what i believe come stand with me or against me than to say you know if you're not with me then let's go trash them or right. you know so what's a what's like a good example of like uh, something powerful people are doing that you would want like cracked down on? That powerful people are doing that we want to be cracked down on? Yeah, like that you would expect like somebody mm. like Warnock or you know somebody running for president. What's a good example of something that you would want them to stop? I think a good reason for any for anyone to vote is they want change that affects them. Mm -hmm. You know, so for us where. We're in the black community. We want things that would help push that needle forward to help, you know, progress us, bring us, help bring us up mm -hmm. so that we can all kind of, you know, eat together so that we can all be treated fairly. So anybody that has power or influence to make those, cultivate those kind of changes, they kind of have my vote. And it really doesn't matter who that person is. If it pushes the needle for me and for my family and for what we're trying to do, then I, yeah. I'd like to see women have control over their bodies. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a huge deal for me. So yeah but that's one of those things where even if someone doesn't share that same viewpoint as long as it's not a divisive right. thing then it's okay to have those differences because there are other policies that i might be okay with mm -hmm. so it all depends to me i think it does depend on how they step into that platform and into that role to be a leader not just to be in control so just to uh, just to push back a little bit do you think um with like uh let's say like women's rights laws and things like that do you think it's uh people who are higher up uh who are choosing not to do it because of money or something like that they're not giving women the rights that they deserve because of some sort of corruption or do you think it's ideological and they're just giving the people what they're asking for Ooh, that's a tricky one and the thing is is like i actually don't even know why it's a rule it just seems like a way to say most of the people that are going to vote for me are for this for their own reasons which could be religious or personal or whatever but just for the fact that they're trying to get votes mm -hmm. it's a huge deal i feel like they don't even give a crap about whether women have control of their bodies or not sure. I, I feel like it's such a minimal thing but for us as individuals as voters it's such a huge deal mm -hmm. that they feed off of that yeah. just like with the recent um giving people who are on like Medicaid and things like that a stipend or something and it's like you're just doing that like I think Kim did that it's like you're just awarding those people so then they vote for you and it's like it's not even about the oh you know helping the community come it's just about giving money who knows where that money's coming from by the way us but sure <laughs> <laughs> to me it just seems like it's not even part of the issue it's just something to throw at us and have us fight over so, I mean, isn't that the way democracy is supposed to work? Like, they give people what they're asking for, right? In the way, like, they want votes, so they want to give the voters what they're asking for. If they don't give the voters what they're asking for, they don't get voted in. It should or, never even be up for discussion, though. 
Sure. Like women's reproductive system should never even be up for discussion. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you might as well tell us we have to take a vitamin. And really, that should be the case. We should have to take a vitamin so that we're healthy. We should be required to take a lunch break and eat lunch and go be active. But no, they're requiring us to ask for our husband's permission before we have a hysterectomy or get our tubes tied and and to have an abortion. Like, it's just, yeah. Kind of like they want to keep things the way it's always been, where they have a form of control. Yeah. So whereas now that control is spiraling out of their control, that it just changes. What what they're trying to restrict changes somehow. Right. It's just a different form of control. So it doesn't ever go away. You know, but again it's the things in the uh, that you vote for that help your life. Do you know Warnock? Yeah, I mean I've seen on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, I know of them. Are you, uh, did you vote? No, I didn't vote. No? no didn't Do you plan on voting in the runoff? Yeah. Yeah? And you plan on voting for Warnock? Yeah, Warnock? I mean, yeah, yeah cuz I be seeing, what the other one name is? The other candidate? I can't remember the old football player. I can't yeah, yeah, remember him. his name. I mean, I mean, he wanted to ban abortions. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's female choices. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They want to abort their baby or do they want to do their body. I feel like it's their choice, and then all the abusive stuff the women that he be doing to his wife or ex-wife and kids and stuff, mm -hmm. I just don't agree with that. Seems like well, we're not do. Seems like he gonna do good, It'd be great. So, so uh, one of the guys wants to ban abortion. The other one wants to make it uh, completely legal across the board. Mm -hmm. um, which one would you rather, or is there like an in-between spot that you're looking for? Well, I don't know. Cause I got sisters, so I'm really big on like they can do what they want with their body. So, I mean, I feel like they shouldn't ban the abortions. You know, if they do, if they do ban it, it's going to be like a lot of, a lot of like, childs. They're going to be in, like, foster homes and, you know what I'm saying? People be giving their child because some people ain't fit to be a mother, mm -hmm. honestly. And it's like, I feel like instead of them putting more kids, you know what I'm saying, in foster homes and people growing up with, you know, like, kids growing up with no families, I feel like they just, just them, you know what I'm saying? True. Okay. Um, have you heard the comments from Kanye recently? No, I didn't. No? Yeah, I ain't been supposed to in a while, so. So, recently he tweeted out, uh, he said, when I wake up, I'm going to go DEFCON 3 on the Jews. Mm -hmm. And then when he woke up, he started talking about how Jewish people are in positions of power, and they're kind of controlling the world, and they're oppressing black people especially, and ripping them off, and taking their money by being, you know, record label owners, or running uh, financial systems, banks, you know, denying loans, stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, do you feel like there's an issue with Jewish people oppressing black people specifically? No, I can't really say that because, like, I mean... I ain't, I mean, I don't, I don't see no problem with it because they doing what they doing. So I don't know what's wrong with Kanye, man. You see, last, the last couple years he was tripping, so ain't no, ain't no really telling. But now, nah, from my experience, nah, I ain't never had nothing wrong with Jews and nothing against them or nothing. So I don't know what he's talking about. Would you say uh, Jewish people, or Jewish people, yeah. sorry. Would you say Kanye is crazy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, most definitely. So, I mean, I see what he's trying to go at with some places, but I don't know what's wrong with him at this point, man. I think that all his divorce stuff, man, it went crazy, man. I don't know. But yeah, Kanye did say some crazy stuff, man. You want to answer that one? You think Kanye is crazy? Most def. Most definitely? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? He is crazy. What What do you guys think makes him crazy? What What about him is crazy? What, what's crazy about him is just, I don't know, he did be saying some wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I can't even put my finger on it. It's just, I don't know. Like, man, losing his mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, he's saying stuff about Jewish people. I don't know what's wrong with the man, man. Seems like they didn't cancel him, you asked me, but I don't know. Man. Do you think he should be banned off of like Twitter and Instagram and all these other platforms? Most definitely, man. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with Kanye right now. So if he comes back, because I think he was on a show the other day talking about how this is freedom of speech and his freedom of speech is being denied. Do you think banning him off of these platforms is uh, against the First Amendment? I mean... Uh, that's a good question, but uh, I mean, it is freedom of speech, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna see how they feel, but I don't know, I mean, it is some things you just don't say, you feel what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't think that's good, but I see what he's trying, like I said, I see what he's trying to go with it. He probably, like you said, he's trying to run for president, so he's trying to get somebody on his team so he could make it president. Mm -hmm. But we all know Kanye ain't gonna make it on president, man. Nobody gonna vote for Kanye. But, yeah. I got, this question is for both of y'all. Do you think, I, because I hear this a lot, um, I grew up in New York and I live in Atlanta now. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think there's a lot of pressure on black people to vote for somebody like Kanye because he is like a black representative for president? 
I mean, it's kind of is like that because, like I said, we only have one black president. So, you know, some people be like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, another black president and that. So, it is a lot of pressure on black people, but at the same time, it's not because a lot of things, like, a lot of things people just don't agree with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you say he going to play, he going to dinners with Trump and then you say the other, the other man. It just, let's say it's pressure. At the same time, it's not pressure because, like, I don't agree with what he, what he got, what he doing. And I think a lot of people don't agree with what he got going on. Mm-hmm. So, so it's like, it's really in the middle, though. All right, do you think there's pressure on black people to vote for Kanye? Same answer, so. Same thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then do you guys know anything about Elon taking over Twitter? And- I, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. I mean, I've seen him taking over Twitter. I mean, Elon doing this thing, I mean, I can't really know about that. I see he allowed, I mean, allowed Kanye and um, Trump back on Twitter, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think he just banned Kanye last night, from what I understand. Oh, uh, well, well. Yeah. They'll ban him again. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Elon got a lot of stuff going on with the little rockets and stuff like that. And Tesla and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> He's got a lot going on he with his little rockets. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Do you want to answer questions about the election? Not serious, not all that serious, okay, man. Okay. I'm a small channel, like most of our stuff's memeing, goofing off, joking. Okay, but, okay, good yeah. check. Um, but these are like, you know, just answer questions however you want. Uh, what's your name? My name is Juan. Juan? J U A N, Juan. Okay, yes, so my name's Tom. Okay. Tom Foolery. I, uh, the show's called Tom Foolery Show. Oh, okay. God. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, we're here canvassing for Warnock right now um, okay. with a big group of about 300 people. Okay. Um, are, are you, did you vote in the last election? I wasn't registered for Georgia because I'm a resident of North Carolina, but so no, I didn't. Okay, but you live here? Yes, I do now. Okay, um, are you able to vote in the runoff? Um, I, I, no, I'm not, I'm still not registered. Still not registered? No, sir. <laughs> do you plan on registering anytime soon? Um, when's the registration end date? I think it's tomorrow. God, I've uh, definitely, um, Seeing the Kanye stuff, how could you miss it? Okay, so how do you feel about the original tweet? We'll start there. Timeline, how do you feel about the original tweet uh, about him wanting to, uh, what did he say? He's going to DEFCON 3 the Jews when he wakes up. How do you feel about that one? Um, I felt like he knew what kind of attention this was going to bring, but he is an, I ain't going to use that word. He is crazy (laughs) for even saying that, even if he thought it. But... DEFCON 3 is extreme. <laughs> <laughs> it is extreme. That was going to be my next question. Do you think he's crazy? Did you, did you think he was crazy before he made those tweets? I mean, when I say crazy, I mean just like, uh, he's off the wall. I'm not saying like clinically crazy sure. or he needs medication or anything to that nature, but he is definitely out of his mind. <laughs> I mean, from what I understand, he's on, he's been prescribed lithium which is like the strongest drug you have for like right. you know insane people he's mm-hmm. been institutionalized right. as well so i i would say he's clinically insane probably but you know the, the the tweets are a little bit much did you see so recently he went to a meeting with trump and with trump no i didn't see that one. okay so he went to a meeting with trump and he was there with a guy named nick fuentes you ever heard of nick fuentes i think i've heard of nick fuentes okay, so nick fuentes runs a group called the groipers america first groipers and they uh are like probably the biggest white nationalist group in america today um okay. and it seems like that's who's running kanye's campaign now do you have any plans on voting for kanye whatsoever um absolutely not <laughs> you have to be crazy to vote for kanye I don't disagree with everything that he's ever said, but for him to run our country, that is a no-no. So do you think that we should probably be in fear of, you know, Jewish people who are in positions of power? He feels like they're oppressing black people specifically, but everybody. Do you think that there's some sort of fear that we should maybe do something about these Jews that are kind of controlling everything? Um, I don't think fear is the right word, but I'm aware that uh, he there is a slight point that there are a, a, a group of Jews that do run everything, but to fear them is is kind of crazy. But um, and he can't. But the thing, his issue is he's trying to group all the Jews into one mm-hmm. like category, and that's just not fair. Would you would you say that that's racist or anti-Semitic or anything like that? I wouldn't necessarily say anti-Semitic, 
but um, it's definitely unfair. I feel like Anderson Met is a bit extreme for him not saying anything like hateful or hurtful. It well, I didn't. I, he maybe I missed it, but I didn't catch anything that was too hurtful or harmful toward the community. Sure. So he's saying like. Jewish people are running everything and kind of oppressing black people and doing kind of messed up stuff to him. He's got issues with like, you know, record labels and, right. you know, Jewish people that ran those things. And right. he's grouping them all together instead of calling out the individuals, exactly. right? I wish so, he would target it more. Sure. So, mm -hmm. so say I find like a stat that says black people commit crimes at a higher rate and now I come to you and I'm like, oh, you must be a criminal then, right? right. Would, you, would you find that racist? Um... I, I guess I would say, in a sense, yes. Okay, I guess you, in a, you got a point. Yes. Okay, so would you change your mind on the anti-Semitism or whether or not that those comments were racist then? If he's taking a statistic and then applying it to like a group or individuals and then applying that to a group, would you say that that's now, uh, those are racist comments? Uh, I guess there's no way around it saying it is slightly slightly racist yes i would have to agree i would just like to note that he has totally conceded the point and has thus now been wrecked do you think there's pressure from like people in the black community to support him because he is out on front street like you know kind of out there running for president stuff like that do you think there's some pressure even if people even if black communities don't actually go out and support him mm -hmm. do you think there's pressure on black communities to support him um not really, because based on like my family and friends and all my associates, nobody is feeling the pressure to really support Kanye. Uh, I'm like we're not that extreme. Like you have to be a bit of an extremist to actually get fully behind him. But I do support everything good that he does. What's what's everything good? What are some um, good as things? far as like his message of trying to. Um, to get behind and enhance the black community. I do feel like he has some great intentions, but he's just not going about it nowhere near the right way. Yeah, he said that uh, actually God sent him to mm -hmm. save the black community and right. to stop the Jewish people. So do you think that he uh, at least has potential to get some things done in that area? To stop the Jewish people is a bit crazy, <laughs> but yes, I do, I do have hope and have faith in him. He is a smart guy. He may be crazy or, you know, a bit out of the box, but he does have some techniques and some monetary value to bring toward the black technique, the black community. And do you have any thoughts on Elon taking over Twitter or anything like that? <laughs> uh, Elon's a funny guy, man. Um, I see that he's letting Kanye go on his rant, so... I believe he banned him last night. He did? I think so. I what, From what I was sent from other people. I've just seen the Alex Jones clips and he went a little bit <laughs> too extreme on that one. I have nothing to say about that, but that he he was a bit on the extreme side for sure. What did you think? What did he say in the Alex Jones interviews that you thought were extreme? Um, it's just the fact that he it's almost taboo to even mention Hitler at this point, and the fact that he said he was a good guy. <laughs> That's funny to me, and I've never heard anyone say that. <laughs> you gotta admit, Nazis aren't so bad, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs>
Just okay. just stay about the people. He's not the other guy, right? Right. The, the other guy is worse. <laughs> yes. The other guy doesn't have the experience that I think he needs. Sorry, a rat just ran by that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And have you heard the comments from Kanye West recently? No, not really. Um, he's talking about Jewish people disproportionately being represented in positions of power mm -hmm. and he believes that they are put there to oppress black people like him and even though he's the richest black man in the history of the world and a billionaire and all of that he feels like uh, that he is now sent by God to Kanye feels he is sent by God to take out the rich and powerful Jewish people who are oppressing everybody else do you agree with these comments no no what no. Why would you disagree with this? I mean, I have Jewish friends, and they treat me just like anybody else. There's, there's no difference. I mean, we have to give everybody a chance mm -hmm. until they prove, prove themselves wrong. So, Do you believe Jewish people are uh, overrepresented in positions of power? No. No? I okay. Um, and then, do you are you on Twitter at all, or have any feelings about are. Elon Musk taking My over? My children are. Yeah? Do they have feelings on Elon Musk that you know of taking over? No? I'm just a grandma, so I don't know about that part. <laughs> okay. Did you vote in the last Senate race? No, I didn't. No? Do you uh, plan on voting in the runoff race? Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah? Who do you think you're going to vote for? Walker. Walker? Yeah. Okay, what do you like about Walker? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Yeah? He's uh, he's pretty staunch on uh, abortion. Is that a big one for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah? Yeah, yeah and pro-life as well. That's, uh, that's an important one right there. Um, do you... How do you feel about his, uh, like, past with the uh you know past wives having abortions you know, past is in the past it's history mm -hmm. you know yesterday's history tomorrow's a mystery today's a gift that's why they call it the present mm -hmm. so do you think people i just based on what you just said how do you think people should be held accountable for their past then you know what i i, I mean what they've done is their business that's in their closet I mean, keep it there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's your skeleton. You know what I'm saying? True. Uh, I mean, nobody has to know all your business, I guess, unless you're a politician. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, the way I see, uh, can they prove he did all that? I, mean, I think the wives came out and said that he did that. Then it's a legend. You know, yeah. it's it's hearsay. It's their word against his, and uh, nobody knows. Have you heard uh, about Kanye West's comments on? recently where he's kind of doing a tour talking about Jewish people and America First, Groypers, Nick Fuentes, stuff like that? No, I haven't, I haven't paid no attention to that. So the, his main message is that he believes that Jewish people are kind of controlling America and especially taking over media, finance, they're getting in positions of power and then they're using that power to influence elections, they're doing it to influence, uh, you know, the culture and you know turn people into things that they may not otherwise be do you think that that's an issue I don't think it's an issue I mean what's this uh, the land of opportunity mm -hmm. so uh, I mean if somebody grabs the opportunity then uh, more power to them fair enough um, what about the mainstream media? Do you have issues with the way that they portray things? Because most of the mainstream media is run by Jewish people, and that's kind of, I think, part of his message as well. You know, uh, I think uh, the media is only allowed to show us what the government allows them to. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we, go, we don't know everything, so they don't let us see it. Do you think that's something that Herschel Walker could uh, put a stop to, or that, are there specific things you would hope he would do to to stop some stuff like that? Well, I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, we need uh, we need crime down. Um, we need gas costs down. Uh, we need uh, 
rights, more rights as citizens, you know, to uh, pursue happiness, like like what it says in the Constitution. You know? So what kind of rights would you hope that they would put in so that you have a better uh, ability to pursue happiness? Uh, well, you know, I mean, there's big issues about gun control and whatever, but criminals don't have, uh, they don't care about the law. I mean, they got guns. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, regular citizens should be allowed to protect themselves, you know what I'm saying? So, to open up Second Amendment, more more yeah. rights for more guns. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the way I see it, it well, uh, the right to bear arms, mm -hmm. I mean, they try trying to take that away from us. But, like, uh, criminals don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't care about the law, so, mm -hmm. I mean, is it okay for them to go ahead and shoot people because they don't care? But people uh, that obey the laws don't ha have the opportunity to fight back? No, I don't think that's right. So. Okay. Uh, would you agree with the statement, uh, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about Elon taking over Twitter? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. What do you like about it? Uh, the fact that... Uh, he doesn't care what they think about him. Mm -hmm. You know, he he bought it. What they're saying, I mean, he fired everybody, uh, just about all the executives. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you I think mean, he's obviously a, things weren't getting done the right way. So. Yeah. Do you think he's an advocate for freedom of speech? Oh yeah. Yeah. Big time. Do you think he'll unban all of the people who were banned before? Well, I so. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to him. Is there anything that you think crosses the line to a point where people should get banned on social media platforms? Uh, yeah, uh, racism, racism is a big thing. Um, that's the main thing, racism. True. I mean, uh, people all bleed red, you know what I'm saying? So color shouldn't be an issue. True. Okay. Well, here, I'm going to wait for that to finish. That's not your interview. Yeah. Uh, what was your name again? Brian. Brian? Yes. Okay, Brian. Uh, anything else you want to add in there? No, I'm good. No? You voting for Trump? Hell yeah. Hell yeah? Yeah? No, you're not voting for Kanye West? For what? He. I think he's running for president. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. no. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I go like this, and people just like say "fuck you" and keep walking. Say it again. I, like, I'm just like I, what I just did. Like people just be like "fuck you" and then keep walking. Oh yeah. I'm so far from home. Like, yeah, I'm pretty far out there too. Yeah, yeah I'm, well, I'm not that far. Yeah. Okay, well I just have a question. I don't. Yeah. I I just got left here, man. Huh? And I, I'm really far from home. I just got left here, and I'm just trying to find my car. But my question is, I came, I remember coming in right here. It's somewhere here, but I've been doing my alarm and I can't find it. Is it going to get, like, is the parking, girl, is all these cars going to die out so I might see my car soon? That's likely, yeah. Okay, because I, I, I just want to find my car, man. Yeah, sure. I, I think there's people, there's a van that just started, so there might be more people coming. Yeah, there I just want to find my car. I don't even know where I'm going. I have nowhere to go, but, like, I just want to get my car. True. True. Well, I'm sorry about that. No, good you're good. Here. I mean, that's life. But like, I just, I just, I'm hoping I can find my car, man. Yeah, true. Before this place gets dead. Well, good luck. Yeah. I think I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for me. I am Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Do you have like a Twitter or anything? Uh, Instagram? Ash, what is it? Shit. Oh, I can't cut. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Ashcat82 on Snapchat and Instagram. Sweet. And I can't remember my face. Yeah, that's good. Y'all go check it out. Uh, so 
Um, did you vote in the last, like, just a couple weeks ago in the... Yes. Yeah? Who did you vote for? Uh, Warnock. Warnock. And are you voting for him again in the runoff? Yes. Yeah? When, is, when are you going to vote? So I've attempted to vote... Should I look at you or here? You can look at me. I've attempted to vote three times now, and the lines are wrapped around the building, and I've had to work all week. So my last chance to early vote was today. Today is also my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, and the line was, I just didn't want to do that. So I'm going to vote Tuesday. Nice. Okay. I've already let my job know I'll be leaving early so I can get in the three hour line. Sweet. Good job. Okay. So, um, the, so what, what is it that you like about Warnock? Um, he is very well spoken, educated, and his views kind of line up with my views, like the things that he wants to do, I, I'm in alignment with that. So what's something you want to do that he wants to do? <sighs> so many things. Oh, you know, well, he is from Savannah. Mm -hmm. um, shit, you don't put me on the spot now. Uh, I don't know. Okay, can't you want to come back right to now. that later? Yes. We, we can come back to it. Um, yeah, so he has lots of good points. There are some things that I don't agree with all of his things. So what's something that you don't agree with? I, I, I'm nervous now. Okay. There are lots of things. <laughs> okay. Um, do you know, he's, like you said, he's from here. Are you from here? I'm not from here, but I've been here about eight years. Okay. So do you know, like, about the roots that he has here? What are some... Not place? specifically. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Because I know lots of other people are mentioning, like, churches that he's been at that they go to and no. stuff like that. I work, uh, I'm a nurse, so I work at a psych facility. I know mm -hmm. he does, like, the mayor's motorcade. Um, I've seen okay. him, like, actually physically, like, be in the cars waving at us yeah. when they come and, like, say hi to all the... Um, patients at the psychiatric hospital I work at or used to work at cool um, I thought that was cool too <laughs> the okay so is there what about like um, with women's reproductive rights is there anything specific with that that you would hope that he would do I would hope um, that we would get to maintain control over our bodies mm -hmm. um, it's pretty sad that that's a an issue in 2022 going into 2023 that I can't say what I want to do with my body. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse, so I know um, there's been a lot of issues with people, like with ectopic pregnancies. It's just not abortions, and um, it's affecting a lot of people beyond just, I don't want to be pregnant. Like, people are sick, and there's there's other issues deeper than what I feel like politicians can understand, so I, they need to keep themselves out of that. Okay. So is your overall thing just kind of like my body, my choice? Yes. Is that all the way up until birth? Is there a cutoff? Place? No, I do have a cutoff. Um, I feel like my body, my choice up until about maybe three months. Um, that's just me personally. I what think, is it um, that you think happens around three months? That I just, change for from, it's just not, not science wise, just me personally. Yeah. At that point, stuff is doing, it's doing. It seems a lot, more like a it's baby. It's doing a lot of more things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point. Um, I know it has heartbeat way sooner than that, but it's just a lot more digits and body, just more things happening with it. So I'm, mm -hmm. for me personally, I wouldn't be comfortable after at, that point. I think that's where Georgia's at now. Last I heard it was the heartbeat bill was like once a baby has a heartbeat and brain function, I think that that's where they cut it off. Yeah, I think that's absurd. Do you think that's absurd? Yes. Okay. Um, what, let's see. If somebody said, just to push back a little bit, so I'm doing this with everybody. So. Let's say somebody says overall the laws say somebody is dead when they no longer have brain function and a heartbeat. So wouldn't they be considered alive once they have brain function and a heartbeat? True. Yeah. Yeah. So would that would that change your opinion at all to um, be consistent or is it more about if like, it can maintain a heartbeat and function outside of my body? Man. Do what do what you need. Okay. Um, keep it alive. But if it's inside of me, if it needs me to finish doing what it's got to do, then I overall have the, this mind, you know, I get to decide. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, all right. So then Kanye West recently tweeted out. He said uh, that he was going to sleep, but when he wakes up, he's going DEFCON 3 on the Jews and then had a whole lot of opinions on the Jews. Have you heard about these things? I've heard, but I've not read anything deep into it. So I, I think 
a couple days ago he was talking about how Jews are kind of taking over the positions of power, especially oppressing black people uh, with like record labels, uh, owning NBA teams, NFL teams, stuff like that, and that because they're disproportionately represented, that they are taking over positions of power to hold black people back. Do you agree with this at all? I don't have a thought on that. I've not read or I don't know or I'm not educated enough on that to have a a yes or no or a thought process on it because I don't know. I just love, I just people. I don't mm -hmm. look at uh, all the Jews are running this and all the blacks have that and all, I don't know all that. I just, you are the CEO of whatever and that's great. But like what he's putting all the labels on, I don't. Okay, so you know. look at it on like an individual basis. Yes. So it's not the Jews, it's that guy it's did that A thing. human being is doing a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, why is, I get why, I understand why we are like, what's the word? Uh, why we are kind of like put in that mentality, it's kind of like where you grow up in the culture, like mm -hmm. where you were raised, like that's kind of like a thing that's indoctrinated into us kind of like unbeknownst to us some, at a point but then you get to a point where you kind of got to like individualize from it and um we're just humans everybody's a human and it's just all the extra labels are annoying do you think you should have been banned from twitter for it um i don't know because i haven't read like i don't know uh i don't know because is there truth in what he's saying is are most of the people who are ceos and running the things Okay. Of that specific nationality? So, or? he is correct. Jewish people are overrepresented in positions of power, especially in media, news, finance, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. they, they are more likely to be running banks. They're more likely to be running media, stuff like that. That is true. But, he says, Jewish people are doing this, right? So, if I came, if I got on Twitter and I said, hey, um, what was your name again? Ashley. Ashley, okay. So I get on Twitter and I say, black people commit crimes at a higher rate. Therefore, Ashley's a criminal. And I right. think I think everybody should stay away from Ashley because black people commit crimes at a higher rate. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, I, I think I should be banned for that. Yeah, Do because, you think now that's wrong because um, if that is true, that isn't specifically their fault. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, there's a history to why everything is kind of the way it is and why all the bricks are in a particular spot there. And there's a history why black people are you know not where we should be today because mm -hmm. of slavery and those things from hundreds and hundreds of years ago and the same thing with jewish people and asians just everybody just is it's a reason like why those things are the way they are mm -hmm. so but that's not my fault today that's not your fault that's not their fault so that is ridiculous when you have a ridiculous thought process would you consider yourself a proponent of freedom of speech yes yeah mm -hmm. so do you think people getting banned off of twitter is uh taking away their freedom of speech uh, yeah you do yeah i mean um i know like facebook does the thing where it like restricts you for like using profanity and like stuff that's not appropriate so i get that like is he forever banned or like how does that work like I, like if there was like a certain set of like if it was these concrete rules mm -hmm. does twitter have like these concrete rules or do they kind of pick and choose they when pick and choose. when they, who 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 that you know who's who i'm pissed off at you so yeah that was the wrong thing to say so i don't agree with that i like stuff to be laid out flat yeah, so standards yeah. yeah so everybody has this this set of rules that they know if they violate then you're banned but like yeah twitter yeah, kind of picks and chooses who they do <laughs> That's a great answer, because, yeah, I, I'm banned everywhere except for YouTube. <laughs> That's, like, the last place I'm left. Uh, and and I normally, I, I'm okay with it. Like, yeah, I did something stupid. You banned me. It's your platform. Uh -huh. Do what you want. Um, but, yeah, it's the consistency that's an issue for me. If they had set standards saying you did this thing, right. therefore you're gone for this long or forever or whatever, that would be great. But instead they ban you and then say, put in a request and then maybe we'll unban you. And then you just, over the years, keep yeah. putting in requests and just never get yeah, answered back. That sucks. Yeah. I didn't know. I've never been banned on a platform, but I've always been a um, person that um, I don't like. When I start a new job, I like to know all the policies up front like, and kind of study them a little bit. Because I don't like getting in trouble for things that I didn't know was a rule. I didn't, I didn't, I, how can I break a rule that I didn't know existed? Like you made yeah. it up, like I broke it, and then you're like, you can't do that. Yeah. But there's nowhere written in stone. So, like, that's you kind of, that's your discretion, and yeah. which isn't fair if it's not laid out 
at the beginning. So how do you feel about Elon Musk taking over Twitter? Is that what happened? I don't know that. What happened? He bought Twitter. He bought it and took over and is now, I believe they said he's fired about 50 to 60 percent of the staff at this point. He's an interesting character and I'm not Mm -hmm. very knowledgeable of because I'll see an article but I never read past like the quick little blurb so that's interesting. So one of the things that he's doing that a lot of people are upset about especially on the left is that they don't like that he is making it to where anybody can be verified now so it's not just a famous person if you have a blue check mark next to your name Mm -hmm. now anybody can pay eight dollars and get a blue check mark next to their name what does that mean it means that they verified that that's who you are oh and so that means i could say i'm somebody else pay eight dollars and some people did do that the verification Uh process isn't very good apparently but the the idea to verify people and say this is really this person Mm -hmm. do you think that that's a good thing for the internet um if it's done with rules like the same Mm -hmm. way for everybody every single time is that how it is well so right now you pay eight dollars they go through some verification process and then they put a blue check mark on your name is it a legit verification process though um so apparently a couple of a couple hundred people uh got verified as elon musk (laughs) and started tweeting out crazy stuff as elon musk there was a ceo of some major uh fortune 500 company that Mm -hmm. somebody got verified as him and then started tweeting out crazy stuff and their stockholders started dropping stocks like crazy thinking that it was really him so it's not the process isn't very good but it's more so the idea of verifying people that i'm asking about i i have an issue so like i would want to be verified if i were a famous or as me yeah i wouldn't want anybody on twitter as me and you're not me Mm because i'm i'm somebody too yeah well so there i like I've done a lot of videos on anti-Semitism, Kanye West, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I get flooded with like neo-Nazis in my comments and they're all anonymous people, right? There's no name, there's Mm -hmm. no picture there's no we don't know who they are and they get to say whatever they want with anonymity i like getting rid of the anonymous part to make you stand by whatever it is that you're saying you got yeah you got to say it with your face with your chest just like i'm doing on the internet um but also there's lots of trans people there's lots of you know marginalized people who want that anonymity on the internet do you think that we should move in a direction getting a getting rid of anonymity or do you think that we should kind of let people pick and choose what they want to do whoa what if the anonymity is so i can bully you and harass you from behind the sheet then there's pluses and minuses to both sides that's a reason that should be a rule to be banned Mm -hmm. like hey you you, if you're gonna be uh, if you're gonna be ugly on the internet like you're gonna be rude and like I'm, i'm gonna come after you for what you're saying and i don't agree with it um I need to show my face Mm -hmm. so you can defend yourself to not because that's kind of like you're a little bit of a coward yeah you know like if if i'm gonna like come at you with i got serious viewpoints now if it's anonymous me i want to be anonymous and saying i love frozen and whatever you know i'm a cartoon lover or something like that i don't know it just needs to be rules for it like if it's politics and you're harassing people no Mm -hmm. and you want to be anonymous for having a point on gay pride or um world aids day or but his stuff like that but you sure your co-workers you know you work with people or your boss is not in line with that and you don't want to end up like being targeted or fired for something like that then yeah okay uh, you know like it, it's i don't know it's in my mind it's it's it just depends but if you make it all a set of rules and then it's more rules and we don't want that either <laughs> i thought somebody just farted into a microphone or something I, okay all right well that's all the questions i got i, I appreciate your time it's the tom foolery show on all youtube right. you can check us out uh happy birthday what you turn 20 today i turned 40. 40 no you yes. didn't you're lying no you are lying i was born in 82. oh my goodness no yeah. way I'm out here in these streets, these oh. Tanger streets. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is not. This I'm is living not on the edge, man. <laughs> There's no way you are not 40. You're messing with me. No. I feel yeah. like I gotta see it. <laughs> you know, you know the saying. Is that you? <laughs> Black don't cry. Yeah. You know the saying, Tom. Come on. Okay.
Is that you? Right, that's right. Uh, Wait, you sorry, you gotta take the motivation part off. I, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> You're not being motivational right now. F O L E Y. Uh, F O O L E R Y. Oh. And then show. I hope I don't regret I did this, Tom. There you go, right there. There you go. Alright. I'll research it. Awesome. Appreciate it. Good night. Have a good night. Check out my latest short. It's a good one. You'll like it. Most recent? Okay. Yeah. Get in the car. Alright.